Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and sometimes on this channel, I like to recreate really cool websites that I find online. And for today's video, we're gonna do just that. I found this website recently called Giftingly and they focus on e-gift cards. And I think their website just looks really, really cool. So we're gonna actually be building out three of the sections on their homepage in the next several videos, because if I built these three sections just in this video alone, it's probably going to take close to two hours. So I am going to be splitting this into four different parts. Now I know we're building three sections, but as I'm scrolling down the website, you'll also notice that the background color is changing as well. And that's what we're going to be dedicating today's video to. And you might be wondering, why are we starting out with the background color change and not actually building the other sections first? And that's because in Wix Studio, you typically build a section, then you add a section, build a section, add a section, and that's typically your workflow for building inside of Wix Studio. However, for this effect in particular, to build this inside of Wix Studio, we're actually gonna be building all of the sections in one single section. So for me, at least, this is gonna be a good way to prep the rest of the page. Now, I will also mention that if you want to create this effect for your own website or client website, then I recommend you stick around to the end because there is gonna be some important parts about how to build the sections after you've created this effect. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. So like I kind of mentioned in the intro, we don't wanna create multiple sections for each of our sections in the video. So what I'm actually gonna do is actually use one section and I'm gonna split this into four different parts. So what I'm gonna do is come down to advanced CSS grid and I'm gonna press apply. In here, what I want to do is go down to layout and we're gonna go down to the other option because inside of this, we're gonna want four rows because we're gonna build three sections and then I'm gonna add a call to action at the very end above the footer. So we'll go ahead and press apply. And that's gonna separate this into four equal sections. And now what I want to do is actually add containers to each of these different grid cells as the background color. So I'm gonna come over to add, I'm gonna grab a container and I'm gonna place this inside one of these grid cells here. And I'm gonna go ahead and stretch it. For this first one, we're gonna set the background color to our blue, just like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste this container. And I'm gonna drag this down to the last grid cell here and I'm gonna stretch it here because the last one's gonna be blue as well. And that's gonna help us transition to the footer. Let's go ahead and copy and paste it again. We're gonna place this one in the second row. We're gonna stretch it. But for this one, we're gonna change the background color to beige. Last but not least, let's copy and paste one more time. We're gonna place this one in the third row, stretch it, and we're gonna change this background color to our light purple. So these are gonna be the colors that we're gonna be transitioning to. But before we get too far along, what I want to do is come over to the layers panel and I want to name these. So this one is gonna be color one. This one is actually gonna be color four. And I'm gonna just gonna move this up, call this one color four. The beige one's gonna be color two. And then the last one, the purple one, is gonna be color three. So now we have all four of our color backgrounds. And now we need to find a way to transition between them. However, when we scroll from this section to this section, we don't wanna see sharp lines. We want it to be a very subtle fade. So to do that, what we actually need to do is let's grab this second color here or color two. And we actually want this to be in the top section, the middle, its actual section and the section below. So using the shift key on my keyboard, I'm going to make sure that this beige color covers all three of these options here. Perfect. Now let's grab color three and we're going to do the same exact thing. We're gonna place it on the section or row above, and we're gonna use the shift key on our keyboard, and we're gonna select the, the last row at the very bottom. So we should see something like that. And last but not least, we're gonna grab color four, and this is the last section, so we're not actually gonna to have to go three. We're just gonna make sure it covers the top one above. So in a way, we covered the blue, and we just kind of shifted everything up, but these, are gonna be hidden in these current sections. So this one up here, we're still gonna see the blue. It's just gonna prevent the harsh lines when we transition to beige in this section. 
and then same with purple and same with blue. And now what I want to do to be able to see this effect in a better way, I'm gonna grab the section and I'm gonna make the section a lot bigger. So we have four sections here. So I'm gonna set the height to 400 VH. And that's gonna stretch each one of our rows to be 100 VH or viewport height. Now, these heights are gonna be changed later on, so I'm not too worried about it. But what I want to do first is grab color two, and we're gonna head on over to animation and effects. For this effect, we're gonna select the scroll option here. I'm gonna press add. Now, what we're gonna want to do is we want the animation path to go to its design. So we're gonna leave that as is, and we're gonna press fade. After we have that selected, let's go down to adjust animation. Now the starting opacity, we of course want that to be set to zero. So we're not even gonna touch that. But what I want to do is let's say we are right about here when the animation starts, right when we're about to cross over into the next section. So maybe right here is where we wanna start. So if we want the animation to start right here, what we can do is move this blue starting point for the animation area to this red line. This red line represents where we are in the scroll. So as I'm scrolling, you're noticing that the red line is moving, okay? So once we get here to 50%, we kind of want the animation to be done, right? And I think that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and back out of this option here. We're gonna choose color three, and we're gonna do the same exact thing. We're gonna come over to scroll, add, fade, go down to adjust animation, and we're gonna set this to be 38 and 50. So we should see something that looks like this, perfect. And last but not least, we're gonna grab color four. Now this one is gonna be slightly different just because this one is not taking up three sections. This one is taking up only two. So we're gonna go to scroll, add, fade, adjust. And what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna start right here. We want the animation to start right about here. And we want the animation to be done by here. So we're gonna go ahead and move the ending point to right about there, perfect. So now if we go all the way up to the very top of the website, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and press preview. And as I scroll down the website, you'll notice that the background color is starting to change. However, you'll probably start to notice a couple errors. And these are the things I was trying to prevent early on. However, I forgot to actually change it for the first color. And you'll also notice for the next blue one, um, we see that little, we see the blue there as well and we don't really want to. So let's go ahead and fix those two things. First one for color one, what we're gonna do is come over to the effects and we actually want this to also cover the grid cell below it. So the second row, perfect. So now if I go ahead and press preview again and I scroll down, it transitions nicely without that sharp line. Now for this blue one down here, now for this blue one down here, I feel like we maybe need to set this to start a little bit later. So what I'm gonna do is grab color four. We'll go into the animation and effects. And I think I did the wrong thing and I kind of started it too late actually. So we want the purple to be visible for a while, not just very temporary. And then we want it to fade to the blue. So instead of starting it early, we're just pushing it back to actually start a little bit later. So if we go ahead and press preview and scroll down the website, we should have have a really nice clean transition all the way down the website. Now here is the important part that I was kind of mentioning in the very beginning. For example, for this last section here, I'm gonna to want to add a call to action. So if I go over to my assets, I already have one created, and I'm just gonna drag this out onto the page, and we place it inside of this container here, you'll notice that it is currently attached to the background image, right? So if we go ahead and preview the website, you'll notice that it actually fades in. And maybe that's not the effect that we are going for. And in fact, for a lot of the website, that's not what we're actually going for. So what I'm gonna do is actually grab this container. I'm gonna cut it from the scene because I'm going to remove it from the section, but it's in my clipboard so I can paste it later. What we actually need to do is come over here to our layers panel and we are going to hide all of our background color containers because we do not want to place elements or content inside of these containers. What we actually wanna do is in the section grid itself, we then want to place in our content. So if I place this in here, 
let's just center it. Maybe we add 30% on the top and bottom. Oh, that's a little too much. Let's do like 10% on the top and bottom for margin. And then we grab this row. We can set this to minimum content. Now what we can do is show all of our items here. Okay. And now when we preview the website and we scroll down, we now see that this doesn't fade in in a really weird way. Now, again, if this is the effect you're going for for your sections, then this could look pretty cool. However, sometimes that's not really what you're going for, especially when you have sticky content in this section, then it's really gonna like interfere with the content that's flowing in and it's just gonna look a little bit messy. However, I do think in some instances, this would be a pretty cool effect, but it's not always something you're intending to do. So if you accidentally put something in the container that the background color change effect is applied to, then that is the reason your content is kind of fading in, fading out. If that's not what you're going for, simply head on over to the layers panel, hide your background colors, then place the content. Just make sure that the content is actually on top of the other containers that we, the color containers for the background scroll effect. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix and Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I will see you all in the next one.